So this is my church outfit of the day. And can y'all believe two sweet ladies gifted me these shoes? I guess they, I, I, I don't think they knew I liked Jessica Simpson, but that was so sweet. Well, let's get to church.
a struggle sometimes, but I get Mr. DePoe's a little bit for me. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> What's going on? How y'all doing? It's been quite a morning. Time to get out of these shoes, change my clothes, and get something to eat. to do my nails and I didn't have the exact color that I wanted so I started mixing up stuff as usual and this one on the left the orally it was not as dark as I wanted I wanted something orangey for October and uh, I think I want to wear more of the browns in November and going towards red in December so and I wear some other colors maybe in between but I really just want to do fall colors so I didn't have orangey orangey I want an orangey brown but not dark so this one would be my go-to but it was a little bit too dark for me this one was too light this one is too something I just don't like it by itself so I mixed them all together and I came up with this one but it does not look like this I don't know how to explain it but the color you see, I guess, is stuck on the walls of the bottle, but it's actually a little darker than that. It's actually about like that, that bottom one. Let me see if I can clear it up. Like that bottom one. That's what I was going for. So I will show you all what it comes. Oh, focus, focus, Tracy, focus. I'll show you how what it comes out looking like in a few minutes. So I've taken off the nail polish off my fingers. Now... It's time to get my toes. So it's time for my morning self-care facial routine. I'm loving this red.
Hey guys, so it's still morning and I wanted to show y'all this because I'm still loving my comforter. I absolutely love this comforter and I would buy it again. The only thing I didn't like, and it's probably true of a lot of comforters and a lot of things, whether it's a sweater, um, it just depends on what fabric it is. It could happen to a coat, you know, whatever. But if you all see, it has these little... Oh, what do you call them? Fuzz balls? And I don't like that because it reminds me of dirt. And it's not dirt. <laughs> it's fuzz balls. And I got this thing from, I put it down. If I can find it on Amazon, I will put it down below. If you don't see a link below for Amazon, you can always go to, oh goodness, what is it? I got it from TJ Maxx or Burlington's or Marshall's. I can't remember. For some reason, I'm thinking it's TJ Maxx. Anyway, it's battery operated. And this came with the battery in it. Thank the Lord, because I'm, I'm bad about putting batteries and stuff. But you just turn it on. It's like a little vacuum, but you press it against the fabric. Oops, Lord, my mind. I'm giving a tutorial. Didn't even work it right. <laughs> but take the cap off. Take the cap off. And this here, it's almost like a um, the skin loofah type of thing that kind of, you know, gets deep. It, it's not a cutter, but when you press it, I guess, I guess it's kind of sharp within these holes and it grabs hold because it's like a vacuum. And it, sh oops, it shaves the um, little lint balls off. So, let me try to show y'all. See how it gets rid of it? See that? I love this thing. I said I have to show my family. Look at that. Oops, let me see. And it gets it off of there. Otherwise, you'd be pulling and all that. And I don't have time to pull all these little things. But. I don't know if y'all can see. They're just coming off. It kind of cuts. Like I said, I don't see the cutter, but I think it, it pulls. The little vacuum pulls it in, and it's probably sharp within this little metal thing, and it cuts and pulls. So if y'all don't have one, y'all get one. Like I said, look down in the drop-down description box below this video, and... I'll try to link one from Amazon. If you don't see the link down there, I couldn't find it on Amazon. And y'all just um, go to TJ Maxx or Marshall. But this is a Farber. This is a Farberware one. And I love it. Love, love it. And the lint goes here. The little lint ball goes right inside there. All right. So that's my share of the video. for four years. He's also in the marching and symphonic band, a student aide, and a member of the Warrior baseball team. Isaiah plans to major in computer science and play baseball following graduation, but at this time is undecided where that will be.
first half. Where's the horns? Thanks. Oh, God, man.
that kid. <laughs> hey, look, I was just telling him, he was like, Isaiah, it only took 10 games. <laughs> and then he was like all excited. And then Sama next to him went, <laughs> he's out there laughing. That's why I ain't even looking at his feet though. So we are at Isaiah's last soccer game. I believe it's his last soccer game. They're in the playoffs. And on this game, they're not up. So I think it's going to be the last game. But there's Isaiah. Lancers on the corner kiss. <laughs> okay, but it is 41 degrees. It is freezing, but we are in our tent, so it's much better for us than being oh, in the stands. So, we got blankets. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. The only thing is, we did not clean it off from baseball, and the plastic is dirty. So, a little bit embarrassing, but we warm. So we have to put it out in the driveway and spray it down on another kind of warm day. Body him, Isaiah. Blow him up. <laughs> 